Hello and welcome to Creative Learners. Hello my lovely children. Today we are going to listen to a story and the name of the story is Three Little Pigs. So let's begin. Once upon a time there was a mama pig who lived with her three children. Chunky, Pinky, Lulu. One day mama pig said Oink, oink. Dear children, you all have grown big. I want you all to go out and make a house of your own. Oink, oink. Because I cannot sustain you any longer. And she gave them some money and also warned them of the big bad wolf out there. So after receiving money and the warning from their mama, the three pigs went together to make a house of their own. Oink, 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 oink. And then Chunky, he saw some straws. So he picked up the straw and made a house out of it. He quickly made the house and started to play around. The two of them went together, oink, 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 and then Pinky saw some sticks. So she picked up the stick and made a house of the stick and she started to play around. But Lulu, she kept walking, 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 oink, 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 and she remembered. Mother has given me some money. So she bought cement and bricks and made a house of cement and bricks. It took a long time for Lulu to make the cement and brick house. But Lulu did not give up. She did not want to play until the house was built properly. And finally the house was made and she enjoyed herself in the house. Meanwhile, her other two siblings were playing. Oink, 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 oink. And now, while Chunky and Pinky were playing, a big bad wolf came. And the wolf saw the pigs playing. The wolf's mouth watered. Mm. Their meat looks so tender. They must be so delicious. I want to eat them. So the wolf quickly came near them. And when Chunky and Pinky looked at the wolf, they got scared and shouted for help. Help us! Ah, mama, help us! Help us! Chunky quickly went inside his straw house. But the wolf came near the house and huffed and puffed and blew the house. Then Chunky quickly came running and went inside Pinky's house. The wolf came from behind and he huffed and puffed and and blew the house. Now they both went running to Lulu's house. The wolf came running behind them and he huffed and puffed and and blew the house. Oops! The house did not blow away. The wolf tried again. He huffed and puffed but he was not able to blow the house. The wolf tried again and again. But the house was made up of cement and bricks. It was a strong house. Then the wolf thought of an idea. He quickly climbed up on the roof of the house and tried to go inside through the chimney. But Lulu was very smart. She had already kept a big pot of boiling water under the chimney. So the moment wolf went inside, he fell into the hot boiling water and shouted, Ah! And he went running away from there. And he promised, I will never come to this house again. Chunky and Pinky 
thanked Lulu for saving their lives and they promised Lulu that they will also work very hard. So children, what is the moral of the story? That we should not be lazy. We should be hard working. So now take out your paper and crayon and you draw whatever you remember from the story. All the parents, teachers who all are watching this story, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And also turn on the notification so that whenever I upload a new video of the stories, you all can watch it. Thank you so much.